So this episode is about coach bags. Really quickly before we get started, if you're not following me and you have any interest in fashion or style or positivity tips, then please hit the subscribe button. If you hit the bell and you hit all notifications, you should be notified every time I post a new video. Right, let's get into it. I actually just want to put on my scarf first. I was going to leave this off, but at the moment, I've just decided that I feel like I want to wear it. Right, okay, I think we're prepped. Let me just move the camera slightly. If anyone's wondering about the gap there, I'm sort of more to the side because I want to be able to put the photos up here so that we can talk about them. Um, Coach is a brand that I found out about like a little while ago. Um, I saw some of the influencers and content creators talking about it. And I don't know, I, when I first saw it, I was really excited about it. I really loved the, I really loved the colors. I, a lot of their stuff is kind of two-tone. Um, and I, I really, really like that. But I found, oh, and also, also the price, so, the price of Coach is nowhere near, you know, something like Dior or Louis Vuitton. It's a much lower price point. It's definitely still luxury, but it's it's lower in price luxury. And that was one of the things that I kind of found attractive about it because we, as well, because I think a lot of us, like, we all know about the super brands and we kind of, we know what the pricing is and we, we know, like, we, we know of the brands, but sometimes it's really nice to hear about a new brand that, that you don't know about. The other experience I had when I first came across the brand was that I really liked it, but I also felt like when I went on to, at the time I was actually, I wasn't looking on their website directly, I was looking on Farfetch, and at the time when I went on to see what there was on there, I felt like I was looking at these bags thinking there's something about them that I really like, but I can't actually see myself wearing any of them. So it was the sort of bag that I wanted to buy for someone else, that I kind of wanted to buy for someone who had like a totally different like colour palette, totally different um, colour in their wardrobe to me or someone who is maybe a lot more feminine than me so things that I liked but I didn't like them for me but I remember thinking I bet if I wait I bet something will come along that I do actually like and it, it did it did it changed and there were so many bags there now that I really like so I'll start showing you a few of them I think I'll save my favorite one to last there are actually so many styles so I don't even know where to start but I'd like to give you an idea of like what sort of bags that they create uh okay oh which one will we start with Okay, so this one. This is one of their black bags. I know that it's quite it's quite simple. I also think it's quite classic in its way. It's their saddle bag, I think. This is um this is a saddle bag by Coach. Um I really like the shape of it. It's I know it's really casual. It's the sort of thing that I would happily wear. Um, but you know, maybe it's kind of I don't know, maybe it's a bit too casual, practical looking for some people, but I I personally really like it. Now I'll show you another one of their black bags. Um, I particularly like this. I actually think I prefer this. I love the logo. So the logo is like a, it's like a horse and carriage or a horse, a horse and coach. Um, I really like it because I feel like it's it's really old fashioned. Um, and I'm I'm really into period drama. So I basically grew up watching things like Pride and Prejudice, Wives and Daughters, Sense of Sensibility, uh, Emma, or all of, <laughs> Jane Eyre, all of those programs, um, all of those films. I used to watch them and I was really really into them. And I loved the time period and of course you always saw like horse and horse drawn carriages in those and so when I look at this logo it kind of it reminds me so much of my love for that and it also tells us that the brand has actually been going for quite a long time so I really like that about it and gold on black is probably one of my favorite color combinations so anyone who knows me from TikTok I'm really into color combinations uh, so some of my favorite color combinations would be like oh like purple and teal a fuchsia and teal um, purple and mustard, I'm really really into mustard, but gold on black, especially if it's a small amount of gold on black, I just think it's really really classy and I really like that. On some of the bags you also have the same logo on the tag, now you don't have it on all of them, but you do have it on some of them, and I, I, re I think that looks really really nice. This is the tabby bag. Um, so now there were two styles of tabby bags. So there's this one that's kind of elongated, more like a rectangle, and then there's another, um, the other style is sort of higher, which sort of creates it into a square rather than like an oblong rectangle. I don't know whether I would wear this bag personally. I would go for one of the others, I think. Definitely the, the black with the, the gold. That's definitely something that I would go for. Um, I don't really know whether I would wear this. I think maybe it feels a bit feminine to me, you know, like with the shoulder, with the shoulder strap. I don't know. Um, but I did really, I did really like the colour. I felt like this colour was really different. The purple is almost iridescent, so I really like that about it. 
This is the lunchbox bag. Now, I, I know this is kind of in a white cream, and this is not... When I saw this, I just, I really, really liked it. And white cream ecru is... I don't wear a lot of white. I do wear cream. Cream is probably something that I would wear in a blazer. It's not the sort of colour I would usually use for a bag, even though I know that a lot of people do. But for, for me personally, it's not something that I would usually, it wouldn't be my automatic go-to, although I did talk about sort of a, a white ecru bag, the Vanity Case by Saint Laurent, I was talking about that in one of my previous videos recently, um, and I did really like that. But yeah, there was just something about this when I first saw it, I just thought that I thought it looked really classy, I thought it looked really nice, there's just something about the shape of it. So this is definitely one of my preferred bags by Coach. When I first went onto the website, I was actually really surprised at just like the amount, like the, the amount of different styles that they had on there. I really felt like they had something to suit everybody, especially now that they have sort of colours, like colour combinations that are more something that I would use. Certainly the black with the gold is something that is, is something that I really like. They also have some other really interesting bags as well. I mean, I think they brought out, is it like a Disney range that they brought out recently? They had like a, a red, a red tote bag. It was, I think it was Mickey Mouse, don't quote me on that. They had a few more as well. I think oh, they had, I remember seeing at least, at least three or four in that range. And they also do some really interesting combinations with like sort of orange and plum, which is usually something I really like. I think at the time I wasn't totally sure on, on the, the plum was almost more brown and I don't wear a lot of brown, but they do have some really interesting color combinations on there. Now this bag I'm crazy about. I first saw it on Farfetch. Now I think again, the price might've changed, but I think from what I remember on Farfetch, it was about 513 pounds, bearing in mind that on, I think the way it works on there is that you have different boutiques listing things for different prices, so it, it could be coming from various places. Um, so I think that was the price. I know it was more expensive than what I saw it for the other day when I looked it up on what I think was Coach UK, but again, don't quote me, but I am going to leave the link down there if I find it. Um, I think on there it was 395, um, but again, I'll leave the link down there so you can have a look yourself. But yeah, when I first saw this, I was like, this is perfect. You know, I love I love the pattern. I love the horse and coach pattern that it has across it. I love the two-tone. I love the, that it's almost like a pinky fuchsia purple. I love the color and then mixed with the black, it looks really good. I love the shape of it because it kind of reminds me of a saddlebag and I can't remember whether it's officially listed as that on there. I, it might not be, but I just really, I really like the shape of it. And I love the gold coloured clasp, but I think the strap is epic as well, because on a lot of designer bags, I feel like, you know, you can get all sorts of straps, uh, but sometimes the straps that you can get are quite plain. And this is what I find is that sometimes when you go for like a brand that isn't like maybe one of the super brands, I sometimes find that I feel like they're almost making up for that with, with like extra detailing and extra quality. And I really, I really like that. So yeah, I really like the, I really like the clasp and the strap, just the level of detailing on this bag is really exciting me. So, I hope this has given you some like insight or some idea as to, you know, what coach bags are like. Um, I just, I wanted to talk about this brand because I, I particularly liked them and I thought it might be interesting to showcase like some of what they do. I leave links to the bags down below in the video description. So again, thank you so much for watching. You know, I, I really enjoy creating on here and, you know, as you know, I've just started back on YouTube and I'm actually, you know, I'm really excited about it and I'm really enjoying it because I'm actually creating like different content and a lot of this content is content that I've actually really wanted to make for a long time. So yeah, I'm really excited about it and I, I hope that you got something from it. <laughs> I leave my Instagram handle down below. If you want to follow me on there, that would be really, really great. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you in my next video.